what some of the things that really helped you the most? What changed the game for you as a dancer, whether it's techni technical things or emotional things or mental things that you picked up as a dancer? I guess, you know, maybe in a way, what took you to the next level, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, like, I was just uh, super, super, super dedicated. I think, uh, you know, like, uh, you, you heard that the thing they say when you want to be good at something, you know, you put uh, 10,000 hours. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely put my 10,000 hours. So, you know, right. it's, uh, the other day also, uh, I was speaking with Osma at the studio uh, from Jambule, and uh, uh, we were with, uh, with one of his ex-students, uh, he's a DJ now, and uh, he was saying, oh yeah, I went to Osmar, but I didn't graduate. And you know, it, it's, it's funny how he put it, because he said, yeah, you go to a un university, you need to study four or five years, you know? And then you have dancers that they come a year, and they already want to be professionals, so they get paid, you know, like yeah. you need to put your, your, your hours, you know? Like, uh, yeah. So I think that's a good, I definitely put my 10,000 hours, I'm, I'm sure a lot more. And, uh, like any, anything you do in life, if you want to be good at it, there's not, you can be uh, talented, you can have a talent for something, but to develop that, you know, you need to put hours, you need to put dedication. There's no, there's no such a thing without the, the hard work behind, you know. Do you, do you know approximately how many hours a day or a week you were putting in in the beginning, maybe in the middle of your career and now, just, oh, yeah. just for reference? At the beginning, I was putting like probably eight hours a day. Eight, ten hours a day. You know, I was in the studio all day. And uh, now, you know, I'm still. You know, now it's a it's a different process because I'm in a different, in a, in a different place, time, uh, uh, position that, and, and I work in different things uh, on my dancing. Like now, um, I work on my dancing a lot when I teach. You know, uh, I clean my steps, I clean my basic, I clean my uh, my style while I teach a lot. So I take it, when I teach, I take it as training too. You know. And you know, I teach um, about uh, four, uh, six, seven, eight, like eight hours a week I teach, uh, two days in my two locations, uh, one day in Manhattan, one day in Brooklyn. Then I have the rehearsals with my teams and then uh, with a the pro team, we rehearse um, two or three times a week. And you know, we rehearse two times probably like eight hours, six, seven, six to eight hours, we rehearse three times, like probably like 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, plus every weekend I'm, uh, I'm performing and, and teaching and you know, mm -hmm. like uh, normal, normally at least I perform a weekend three times, you know. So of course, if you, if you start counting three times per weekend uh, in a month, you know, it's uh, 12 times in a month, in 10 months, 120, you know, in a, uh, in, in a year, you know, you're going already to uh, another 24, uh, 144, you know, and then multiply that by 20, you know, I, I have done my, my, my hours on, on stage too, so that helps a lot, you know, like I know how to change my, uh, that, uh, uh, put that, the extra shift, you know, on mm -hmm. stage, so, you know, it's, it's a bit of combined experience with training, with dedication, you know, like everything uh, go, goes together, but definitely, now I still put in the hours, but um, now what, I, what I'm able to work in one hour in myself, probably before would have taken me uh, 10 hours, you know? It's, it's a different training now. It's a lot more uh, here than, than physical, you know? Yeah. Same thing, when we do the rehearsals with, uh, with my team, uh, you know, we do a couple of rounds and they're like, <gasps> and, and, I'm, and I'm not, you know? And it's what you say, you know, it's, it's technique, it's, I know how I breathe different, I know, uh, how to rehearse, and uh, you know, I I have a, a better uh, oxygen flow than them, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's just, that is just experience, you know. When you were practicing in the beginning, in the middle, even, and you said now it's changed. It's more of a mental game. It mm -hmm. sounds like. Um, wh how I guess from from a technical standpoint, was there a particular way to train that really helped you so for instance like some people like to do it slow right mm -hmm. to break everything down some people like to see some people like to rehearse it differently mm -hmm. did you have a particular method that really helped you um no i, I you know I, I normally would start always going over the routine with some music just a couple of times just to warm up and then music and music and music and music and music and, and get it done you know I, I don't like to stop in the middle of everything unless you 
you know, something like you, you really need to stop. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I don't like to stop even mistakes. Keep going, keep going, because that's what happened on, mm -hmm. on stage. You know, the stage is never perfect. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you get used to it, then, you know, even people don't see it sometimes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you recall the time, like, how long it took you to not think about the steps anymore? I'm assuming you're not mm -hmm. thinking about the steps anymore because uh, it's automatic now, right? I, you know, that, I don't think, you know, like, Probably in the debut is when, when you have to think a little more, or sometimes when um, bringing back an old routine, or maybe if I was um, in vacations right before the weekend, you know, have to go over it a little bit more with, with, with Tanya, you know, mm -hmm. or with the team, or I was traveling with Tanya and then I have to go straight to another Congress where the team was there, you know, probably have to think a little bit more about the, the, the uh, rotation, stuff like that, but you know, I, 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 I've been pretty good with it, yeah. yeah. Um. Besides work ethic, obviously you talked about that. What else, in your opinion, separates a good dancer from a great dancer? Um, definitely the, the condition that you put, um, the attitude that you put when you go on, on stage. You know, talking about performer, you know, um, you need to go on stage uh, convinced, you know, that of, of yourself or what you're doing, convinced that you know, like. Uh, I always, I, I, I always tell my dancers when, when, when I go on stage, that it doesn't matter if, if Michael Jackson is going before me or, or after. Right. You know, like it's I, I, I'm the best at the moment. You know, like there's nobody else. You know, that's that's the, the mentality that I go always on on stage. You know, and I think that's what makes a difference between a a, a, a good dancer and a, and a great uh, out of ordinary uh, uh, performer when that that the conviction that you go on stage with, you know. How did you arrive at that? Was there a moment uh, that you came across that you arrived at that or you always had that attitude? Um, you know, I always, I, my, my family always, uh, um, my mom, my dad always showed me that I could do things and I was always very um, hard-headed, you know, still. And um, I think everything that I have, uh, that I have really put my everything and say, I'm gonna do this, uh, I've done, you know? There's a few things that I said, you know, I'm gonna do this and then I don't finish, but it's because I wasn't really committed to that, right? But so um, I always been like um, very strong-minded with that. With, when, I, when I want something, I go for it and I, um, uh, I believe a lot in myself. And uh, um, I think that that definitely makes, makes a difference, you know? like. There's some, some dancers that um, their worst enemy are, or their failure is uh, their thoughts, you know, their thoughts or their uh, self-esteem, you know, or their conviction, you know, like the, being afraid to be compared, being afraid to put, uh, put, um, uh, put, there's always a competition, you know, with, with other artists, you know, you want it or not, it's always like that, even your friends, you know, it's like that, but you know, you need to understand that that is part of the game, and uh, uh, but you need to be convinced that of what you have is quality, you know, and you have to be realistic, you know, and that's very important.